minutes to go, parsnips, courgettes, turnips and spring onions are added. That dish is a meal in itself, you know. First you, you eat the stuff like a soup, and when the soup is nearly finished, you know, you leave about two spoons of liquid into your plate, and you add about one glass of red wine. And you just take the plate like that with your hand and drink it like that. And that's called fer chabro, with very old tradition in France. And um, it doesn't improve the wine, it's just an excuse to, to drink more wine. That's all. <laughs> Non, non, pas du tout. Enfin, mon point de vue à moi, c'est que... Non, voilà. Allez, on bouge, je sais. Allez, on bouge, je bouge. Attention. Allez, on bouge. Ah, là-haut. Il va y avoir un seul marqueur, là, plutôt. Et... Voilà, c'est magnifique. Ah, ouais, là, c'est... Champion. 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 Voilà. Bon, vous videz vos verres, là. Allez, moi, il est vide depuis le quart d'heure. Allez, comme ça. Très bien travaillé Christophe, bravo Merci. Comment ça fait grossir To enjoy food, you go to start first from your birth. You, you start to eat good food uh, in your family, you, the type of food your mother is cooking. But if you start eating uh, baked beans uh, from the age of one or uh, and uh, sausage, you know, food of fat, you got that test and you keep it all your life. Tu nous fais la bouillabaisse dimanche, on reviens pas. Et je te parle à faire, Tu vas apprendre. Hein? Euh, moi, en fait, je vais aller, on prend le plateau, le plateau pour commencer. Le chef, le menu, ouais. galette de foie gras, ouais. queue de langoustine. Ouais. This year, Pierre has enlarged La Tante Claire and has devised a more ambitious menu, both of which he hopes will help him get his third Michelin star. That dish is called chartreuse d'agneau au persil. And I'll show you how to do it. When you cook the lamb, Pierre, do you cook it to your taste? If the customers say nothing, I always cook it to my taste with pink. I don't like lamb undercooked because I don't think it's very good. But pink is perfect cooking for lamb. But so if someone asks for it well done, would you oblige them? Yes, I'll do it, yes. If people ask uh, uh, with, with regret, but I'll do it. If you ask for well done, I'll do it. After all, the customer is, is, is king in a restaurant, so I'll do it. And for that, I put it in a very hot frying pan again. It must be very hot, because you've got to seal all the juice of the lamb very quickly. If you do it on a very slow fire, all the juice will come out of the meat and the thing the best to do is to throw away the meat and just have the juice. This combination of parsley and lamb, how did you arrive at that, Pierre? Oh, just like that, you know, thinking of, because I'm a chef, I think about food like uh, everybody else. And uh, example for a lamb is a beautiful meat by itself. So you've got to keep it simple. And uh, like everybody think of uh, parsley with uh, the most common vegetables. But nobody, do, do, nobody does anything with, with parsley, you know. They just, just think it over dishes, but that's all. So there you got a, a way to, to, to do a vegetable with parsley. Yeah. So now we'll cook the parsley with a very simple operation. I mean, you, got, you need some boiling water. Um, that's an awful lot of parsley, Pierre. Yeah, that's too many, but... And just to put it in, in boiling water, like spinach, in a way. You're using different sorts of parsley there, Pierre. Yes, I use flat parsley and curly parsley. With, in fact, about the same... They got the same test, except maybe the flat got a better test, but not a lot of difference. That you boil for how long? I, I cannot say exactly for how long because it, uh, until they are cooked, like, it's like exactly the same as spinach. If you've got young leaves, it will be very quick. If they are not so young, it takes a bit more. And you cannot rely on, on the time they give you on, on recipes you know, because uh, you've got to take a recipe, it's only a guide, it's not a Bible. You know? you do, you've got to work with your, with your tongue, you do it after your, your own test. Now I'll drain it. Because we've got to take out all the water. It must be really, really dry. Right. Mm. 
So next, I go to boil the double cream and leave it to reduce because if the double cream will bend all the parsley together. Stir it a little bit, put some seasoning, only salt, no pepper. I think parsley got already a little taste of pepper, so it doesn't need to, to add more pepper. Than just salt. Normally we say that parsley must drink the, the cream. And when there is no more cream in a, in a saucepan, the parsley is ready. Just keep it on the side for the next operation. Now we, I will lay all around the dish the slice of courgette and carrots must be very fine in size and, and blanche in boiling water. And then you're going to put parsley in, in the, the middle, middle of that. yes, and uh, turn it upside down. It's funny, but I wouldn't associate Pierre Kaufman with a mould with parsley in it somehow. I don't know, just the presentation of it, I wouldn't associate with you. No, no, I'm not normally I don't, because before the kitchen was so small, I never spent a lot of time on presentation and things like that. Now with a brand new kitchen, yes, we'll try to make it the food better and more nicely presented. I think mean, when you go to a restaurant, first you test the food with your eyes, and after you test it with your mouth. So presentation is quite important. achievement of that third star to you? Of course, it'd be very nice to get a third star. I mean, it's not the, the end of, of the road, you know. When you got a third star, you go still working, and uh, the thing is, we just did the place a new challenge, you know. You got to, to have something to do in life, you know, so. But the third star, of course, it should be fantastic to have a third star. A three-star chef inevitably becomes a bit of a star himself. Now, would that appeal to Pierre Coffin? Not, not really. I don't. I don't try to. I don't want to be a, a star. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not prepared. I'm not the type of man who, who, enjoy, who will enjoy it. You know, so I always try to. Uh, you got those type of. You got some chefs you know, who enjoy it, so they go to the front and have a talk with a customer and feel very important. But I'm not. You know, I always stay in the kitchen, work, and uh, even when it's finished, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I just go home and uh, do what I like. You know, and. Uh, Cooking is very important because it's where, where I make my living, you know, but uh, it's, not, it's not the only thing in my life, you know. And uh, I got a daughter, I got dogs, and I got uh, plenty of other things to do than uh, only cooking. Pierre doesn't like to be tired of things. Yeah. 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 No time and no, you know, the ideal for him would be for him to open his own home. You come to lunch. And you have what's half prepared at the moment. That's how I would say he would be most happy. Wasn't right. 